arthritis acting up again. Hey! Have you mentioned arthritis in your knee and multiple people have mentioned trying glucosamine? Hi, I'm Liz, physiotherapist from My Physio to Go. Many people are given prescription medications to decrease knee pain due to arthritis and are looking for alternatives with less side effects. I'm sure people have recommended glucosamine more than once to you, and you are here to find out if it's any good. So let's get to it. How does glucosamine help with cartilage health? Cartilage can be found on the ends of the bones in joints, at the end of the ribs, and in other areas of the body like the ears and nose. The type of cartilage we are concerned about today is the ones at the end of your bones in your joints like the knees, hips, and elbows. The main function of cartilage is to minimize friction between two surfaces during movement and to help transmit loads from one joint to another. It contains no blood vessels or lymphatic vessels and has no nerves. Because there are no vessels in the area, there is minimal capacity for natural healing after injury, so it is important to maintain what we have. First, we need to learn what cartilage is made up of. Cartilage has two major parts, the extracellular matrix and the chondrocytes. Think of the ECM like baking ingredients. To make the ECM, you mix the wet ingredient being the water and the dry ingredients being the cells like proteoglycans and collagen together. When you mix the ingredients, you can use more water to make a softer dough, or in this case ECM, or less water to make it stiffer. The second ingredient of cartilage is the chondrocyte. This cell is responsible for producing more dry ingredients for the ECM or breaking down the dry ingredients. So, the chondrocyte maintains the ECM to make sure there is enough solids in its environment to keep the cartilage stiff. With osteoarthritis, breakdown of the cartilage can be caused by excessive loading, aging, hormones, and inflammation. When the cartilage is injured or weakened, chondrocytes will start producing more dry ingredients to help repair the damage. As well, it will also produce enzymes that break down the damaged pieces in the area. If the repair cannot keep up with the damage of the dry ingredients, the dough or the ECM will be too wet, causing the cartilage to be weak and unable to tolerate compression and other forces. This further weakens the cartilage and causes more breakdown when loads are placed onto the joint. So, let's get back to the main question. How does glucosamine help? Glucosamine is naturally made in the body using glucose. It is used to help make proteoglycans, which are the dry ingredients of the cartilage. By supplementing the body with glucosamine, the body can use it to immediately make proteoglycans to help stiffen the ECM when chondrocytes cannot keep up with production. As well, it can decrease the inflammation in the joint, leading to less pain. So, what does the research say on the effectiveness of glucosamine? Based on two recent systematic reviews done in 2018, it is shown that glucosamine is beneficial in decreasing pain for those with knee OA. It is still debated whether taking glucosamine can preserve joint space. More studies need to be done to determine if long-term effects of glucosamine can help maintain that space. There have been no major negative effects noted from taking glucosamine, so it's generally a safe supplement to take. Some minor side effects include nausea, heartburn, diarrhea, constipation, drowsiness, skin reactions, and headaches. As well, glucosamine is made from shells of shellfish, so there is a concern that it may cause allergic reaction in those with shellfish allergies. For those taking acetaminophen like Tylenol, taking glucosamine supplements at the same time may decrease the effect of both the acetaminophen and the glucosamine. As well, if you are taking warfarin, it may increase the effect of warfarin, making the blood thinner and harder to clot. The recommended dosage for glucosamine is 1500 milligrams a day. You may see some glucosamine supplements combined with chondroitin. There is conflicting evidence regarding which one is better. Some studies show a larger positive effect with glucosamine with chondroitin. Others show no added benefits with consuming the combination. So the takeaway on glucosamine? Give it a try. If glucosamine doesn't work for you, try chondroitin or a combination of glucosamine and chondroitin. But hey, don't just rely on medication and supplements to manage your OA. Exercise is a great way as well. Try to stretch and strengthen the muscles around the knee and hip. Stronger muscles decrease the shock and compressive forces to the joint. Doing some weight-bearing exercises will also help maintain the health of the cartilage. Articular cartilage gets its nutrients through diffusion from the synovial fluid in the joint space. 
Fluid is moved through the layers by compression. This is why weight-bearing exercise is important for those with arthritis as it allows more flow of fluid and therefore nutrients through the layers of the cartilage. That's it for today. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this video. Till next time!